and welcome back. Today I'm looking at a program called TexAid. Now this is online based, which I think is great because then you can use it across varied platforms. So it's not tied down to specific operating systems, so you can interact better with the cloud, tablets, Mac, PC. And this program can read back to you, so it can read back your Word documents, it can read Google Docs, online Office 365, it can read websites, or you can convert PDF journals or any kind of PDF format or image format into a Word document and then helps you manipulate it by annotating it, adding highlighters, reading it back, even saving it as an audio book if you want. So anything you can create on here you can also create as an audio file and then why not send it to your Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive app on your phone and tablet and listen to it on the move. So instead of being stuck staring at a, a monitor reading information, be it research through studies or just general reading, this should be quite helpful. So I've had a quick look at it last week, but what I want to do today is just go straight into it and just learn it basically as I go along. So that way you get a feel about the program. Now I'm not going to review it, I only show people how to use it, it's up to you to make your own decision. So let's get stuck in. I'll leave a link on my YouTube channel so you can download and have a look at the web page for Read Speaker Text Aid. So first option, we got the listen button. So just to highlight that word and step, listen. Welcome. It will play it back. Now if I was to highlight it and select listen. Welcome to Read Speaker Text Aid. To get going, you can click on the new document icon in the left hand side. And I think the voice don't sound too bad, does it? Don't sound too robotic. Not like Daniel that you get on Siri. So that's the first option. Now come up here, but you see this little plugin, you can get this little plugin here if you actually go to Chrome Web Store and select it down Read Speaker Text Aid for Chrome. Once you've done that, I'm going to give you an example here. Let's go into Wikipedia. Click on the little plug in here and drag it where you want it. So I'll just drag it over here. And all you do is highlight your text and hit the play button or listen. Let's click listen. S in the swallow family containing four species named as house martens. These you can pause or stop. What I want to do next is come to the settings option and you can choose your language there. You've got various languages there. Highlight, you can have highlighting offer on, kind of like it, it's easy to follow. Word and text section. So you can choose on your highlighting whether you just want to do the text section only or highlight a word or again, no highlighting. And again, you can choose your colors. So I'm just going to go for a, a yellow, I think, word, no, actually, blue word color and a yellow text section color. And I'm going to leave the text dark and select save. Again, highlight it and hit the play button. Amelie containing four species named as house martens. Click stop, that kind of works, doesn't it? Then you've got the option here, reading speed. You can change the speed of the reading. I kind of like to leave it on about 100, but I'll drop it down to 88, especially if you're reading something more factual. You might want it a bit slower, so you can pick up the details, especially if you're studying. And you've got your reading language here as well that you can choose. I've left it on British English. And writing assistant. Now that's only available when you're in Google Docs and Word Online documents only and click close. Now I have a little option here is snapshot. So if I click on it, hold the left button and let go. The free encyclopedia that anyone can edit. 6,446. I like that because it brings up a new window. You can see it really clearly and it pulls it out of the application, especially it's confusing as well. So that's how simple it is to use the Read Speaker plugin. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to Read Speaker Text Aid. Now I said to you earlier about manipulating different files. We can upload an image file, convert it into a Word document, save it as an audio book. You can upload your own Word documents. It's just endless. So what I'm going to do is select Library, show you. And it will bring up this window and you can choose what you want to upload. So first thing I'd always recommend is select Create a Folder. So you get everything organized. I'm just going to put, for, no, I'm going to put philosophy and I can't spell it. I'm just going to put fill in, that would do. Then you've got your parent folder, your, your main folder root. So select create. And I've got my main folder. So I can add multiple folders there if I want by creating folders. But now I need to upload a file. So I'm going to upload first a Word document. So you've got a Word document you want to work with. Now I can do it from my computer here, 
Before you do, make sure you choose the language you want and which folder you want to put it. So I want to put it in fill. And it's going to be from my computer, but you can do it from the internet as well. So if you've got a link, you can then import that in. But it's from my computer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a file in. And that's in my download folder. There it is. And now I'm ready to upload it. And it's done. Click close. And it will open up automatically. And there it is. And it's in my philosophy folder. So now if I click on it, I can now open it up within Read Speaker. And there it is. I'm good to go. Just a quick point. If you highlight it, brings up a little listen option so you can play back that word. Philosophy. But also, if you highlight it and select the play listen button. Philosophy explores human thought, the basis of knowledge, the nature of reason. Not sure about that colour. Come to the left, you've got your reading options. So you can choose your voice at the top here and your default voice and underneath your speed. You can always test that at the bottom. This is a sample. And if you prefer, you can have a pause between each word. So you can really separate the words you're listening to. Happy with that. But it was these colours I was looking at. So I want to go to highlight. Now it's highlight. The colour for the highlighting words. I think I might go for yellow. And colour for the whole sentence. You highlight the sentence for you. Probably do a lighter yellow. Text colour. I'm going to do green just to show you that. And you can see underneath how it looks. And select close. So now when I highlight it, I should get those colours I chose. Philosophy explores human thought, the basis of not And click pause. So you can change that quite easy in the highlighting option there. You've got the text option as well. I'll show you that later. So once you read it back, you might want to highlight stuff. So that's when we can start using this section here. Annotation highlighters. Let's go with highlighter first. So I'm going to select a colour. And then once you do, you just drag and it highlights it. Then you might go, I need something green. Again, you choose the colours, how you want to use them and represent what you're highlighting like you normally would. Highlight that paragraph and I might use that colour just down here to highlight another line. But once you've done that, if you use a little option here, you might want to even collect those highlights. So we can bring them into another document for you to specifically work with. Or you might want to clear them. Clear the document highlights. So you might want to clear just the page, the whole document, because you might have multiple pages, or show highlight borders. So if I select that, you see the borders come up. I think that works quite well, actually, doesn't it? But it's a little bit busy, isn't it? So I'm going to turn that back off. So now I can select the option here and collect the highlights. Choose which highlights, so the entire document, because I've only done the first page, that's all there is anyway. You can sort by colour, which I've done, or position in the text. So you might want that position kept. And then, yes, show colour indicators, which I'll show you in a minute when we export it. And show colour borders, which I'm going to put no. So now collect and download. And then they are. You've now got them all separate and colour coded for you to work with. And again, you've got the listen option at the top to play it back. The 31st of January 2022. And the other point, I've said I was going to show you this with the text option. That colour of text and stuff might not be working for you. So you might go, I need a yellow background. And maybe I need the text red. I know it's not the best colour, is it? Mine's not bad. Blue I might go for, actually. And then you can even expand the size of the text. And select close. And then you can hit the listen button. The 31st of January 2020. While we're in this window, by the way, let me show something at the top here. You've got your format options there. Headers, bold, italicised, numbering. You've got a couple of options, spell check, but you've got an option here where you can dictate. So I want to give it a go. I've not tried it yet. I'm doing a bit of research and philosophy, and I just wanted to check whether or not this is quite accurate. Well, it's not perfect there. But with my strong London accent, that's probably why it struggled a bit. And then you've got your spell check and you've got your other basic options, including reading speed. So that's another option you can work with. How about if you've got a PDF, you want to turn it into something that you can edit 
and then read back and again manipulate. Go to the image to text option. Choose a file. So I've got one in my download folder and again choose your language. There's a PDF. I'm going to open it up and select. You can choose at the bottom save as a read only document or save as editable. You can see at the bottom there you're limited to 20,000 characters per saved text. But remember you can separate, if it's a lot of literature, you can separate it to different audio files, just name them A, B, C, and you can read them like short books, couldn't you? So I'm just going to call this Philosophy and select Start. Give it a little while to convert it. So this will work on PDFs, JPEGs, I'm not trying it in PNGs or TIFFs. Then select go to library. There's my file. I could send it to Google Drive or OneDrive. You band have one or the other. Or it shared with me. Or you can even share it with others if you want and have stuff shared with you as well. But I just want to open it. And there it is. So again, I'm going to change the text colour. I'm going to make it standard background color, text color black, and select close. And again, don't forget your listening option to play back. Story of philosophy by Will Duran, my notes. But now you've got another option. If I come to Writing Assistant, you can choose as well to select what you want to hear while typing. So if you're typing into a document, for example, maybe you want it to read back letters, maybe words. Or maybe you want whole sentences read back. So what I'll do, I'll leave it on, turn them all off, I'll just leave it on words, sound out letters, or spell out letters. So I shall leave it, sound out letters. You've got a word prediction option to, could be useful. And last of all, delay before shown suggestion. I'll leave it short, that way it can flow. So select, close. Now let's come into the document, let's give it a go. Circumstance. Dot hello. You. My. Friends. And you can hear it dictating, but also it's bringing up suggestion here. So I can then put in a word, and it can help you actually structure your sentences. I think they're quite handy prediction. They're underestimated. Also in this document, if I was to double tap a word, it brings up this little drop down menu so I can play back the word. Doing. So let's click on that. Let's do wisdom. Double tap and select, and we can select dictionary. You've got wiki lookup, web search. I'm going to select dictionary, and there you go. You can actually play it back as well as definition. One dot wisdom noun a the quality of and click close. So I think this software is quite easy to use, but it keeps you flowing as well. Now, the bit I wanted to show you as well is saving something as an audio file. So we've got all that information, you might want that saved, sent to OneDrive, maybe Google Drive, Dropbox, you can access it on an app on your phone or tablet. Easy to do, just select download as MP3. Read the terms of use. Again, you've got to be careful with plagiarism. Agree and download the file. Now give it a little while to work away. And you can see bottom left hand corner, we've now got the audio files. So I've opened Story it up. Story of philosophy by Will Durand. My notes, the love of a modestly elusive truth seemed incomparably more glorious than the lust for the flesh. And close. So what a lot of students tend to do is create a folder in their OneDrive, drop the file in so it automatically syncs with their app or tablet and that way they can play it back and they don't have to use the online data either. So again, something you can play around with. If you want to do a new document, select new document at the top here. You have that option as well to type in and do a new document. See the tabs at the top? I can click on them. So I might go to my philosophy one and go, actually, I want to save that. And you can save it automatically. If I click the little arrow on the right, you can actually choose how you want to save it. So it saves by default to the library I showed you earlier, but you can set to PDF, Word, Google Drive, or OneDrive. I want to go Word. And give it a name. I still can't spell philosophy. 
So I'm just put fill in. Select download. And then it downloads here onto your Mac or PC. And you've got all that information to work with and close. Now, again, it's just a quick video tutorial on some of the basics. There's a lot more to it. But I just want to give you a feel of it. And for me, I use a lot of speech-to-text software. And this seems quite easy to use because a lot of those options I just did as I was going along. Thanks for watching.